attack it from the top. Instantly better. The sausage roll is one of the most iconic Australian snacks alongside the meat pie. For those who are unfamiliar with the sausage roll, it is basically sausage meat wrapped in puff pastry. The sausage roll is thought to have originated in France back in the 19th century. But today, join us for the ultimate sausage roll tour in Melbourne. We're on the hunt for the most tasty sausage roll in Melbourne's east side. So, for a benchmark, we're going to start at a local 7-Eleven and that's where most people get their sausage rolls from. But we're going to hopefully get a better sausage roll at two other well-known places in east side of Melbourne. So let's test out the baseline. So I've got Chris here again. Let's give it a go. Uh, you're a sausage roll lover, aren't you? I love a sausage roll. Yeah. How could you not? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, they're beautiful. Along the meat pie, sausage roll is the next most famous thing in Aussie snack culture. So let's head on in. So look at the assortment of goods here. We've got the hot and tasty sausage roll. The good old sausage roll, I think we'll get two of these, just as a benchmark. Actually nice and warm, they're thick too. Look at the health star rating, 1.5. So apparently not very healthy. And we have to get the tomato sauce, guys. You want a tomato sauce, Chris? We have three tomato sauces. Okay, four dollars fifty. Not too bad for these giant sausage rolls. There you go. Just these. Look at these sausage rolls. I'm actually uh, quite hungry, so I'm ready to dig in. So this is the benchmark. Can it get much better than this? Cheers. Cheers. We've got to open it first. <laughs> All right. When's the last time you had a sausage roll? Me. Cheers. I don't even know, a long time ago. But it would have been a 7-Eleven sausage roll, no doubt. Yeah, it looks a bit dry there, but we've got to squirt some tomato sauce on there. Oh, you got yours? Okay, let's attack it from the top. You ready? Yep, cheers, all right. You know, I don't, I don't think they're too bad. They're definitely not the best, but it's a good benchmark. I think the last time I would have had one, I would have been hungover as hell, so anything's good then, right? But they're not bad. I don't know, flavor-wise, I mean, it is kind of bland, obviously. Like, it's um, just like this mushy meat kind of flavor. You know, it's obviously cheaper, but I don't know, I'm really looking forward to the proper sausage roll from a bakery because you can taste it's going to be meaty and it's going to yeah it's going to have a lot of flavor and there's just how, there's there's a massive difference between homemade sausage rolls and these ones but it's a good bench, benchmark they're, they're not bad they're just not 100 percent great yeah it's not bad it's just a salty cheap meat flavor mm. but pastry is not too bad no like you can taste the butteriness it's very flaky i almost choked on the flakes <laughs> but um yeah, definitely you need the tomato sauce for this. Yeah. I love drenching that sauce on there. Look at that. Oh, let's try it. Mmm. It's, it's actually surprisingly moist on the inside. And yeah, nice and flaky, but yeah, you can definitely tell the difference between this and a homemade sausage roll. The, the sauce is free, so that's a bonus. Let's see if the other places have free sauce or you gotta pay for it. I'm gonna rate this a five out of 10. I was gonna say four, but yeah. Four. Okay, all yeah, right. It's, it's not horrible, it's just, no, it's a benchmark. All right. I'm looking forward to the, yeah, to the real proper homemade one. Can it get much better than this? How much better can. can it get? Well, we gotta, surely we're gonna hit a seven somewhere, right? <laughs> Hopefully an eight or a nine, but. I'll be so I mean, disappointed if this is the best one we can get. Today. If this is the best we can get, then Something yeah, it's not gonna wrong. be great, yeah. <laughs> So we're at the next place. It's called uh, Mountain Gate Hot Bakehouse. And this is actually recommended to me by a subscriber. And she reckons there's some really good sausage rolls. So let's give it a shot. So they've got barn mees. But it looks like a nice humble little bakery. 
Yeah. Alright, let's head in. Two sausage rolls, please. With the sauce. Thanks, mate. They're already looking much better than the 7-Eleven ones. It's quite soft, the sausage rolls. But the sauce was extra 30 cents. Better be worth it. Yeah. 30 cents, what happened to free sauce? 7-Eleven gave it away for free. Let's have a look. Definitely bigger, fatter than the 7-Eleven one. Definitely, uh, you can tell it's homemade. Doesn't feel as hot, though, just by hand. Mm. But let's give it a go. The meat looks uh, thick. It looks it's like real meat this time. Yeah. Oh yeah, trench that. Instantly better. Better than these uh, 7-Eleven. I can taste individual flavors in there now. Um, there's definitely onion in it. You can definitely taste the onion, whether it's a 7-Eleven, I was gonna say, had carrot in it. I was gonna mention it, but then you can't taste the carrot anyway, so what's the point? The pastries, I don't know, I reckon the 7-Eleven was a bit more flakier. Give it a bit of a squirt. Oh yeah, that's in the morning after Saturday night out. Oh, that's yum. The meat is very soft. The separation. The 7 Eleven one was like a, a clump of Massive, something. Yeah. But this is all separation. Look at that onion, the pepper. Mm. This is a, a good sausage roll. Yum. I like the softness. <coughs> yeah, I think it's pretty good. I'm really happy with it. The outside's kind of flaky. It'd be nice if it was like a little bit more flaky, yeah? but that's fine. Mm. But the pastry soft, it's tasty. Gonna get all that sauce on there. Yeah, it's like a lot softer. Mmm. Mmm. That's good, yeah. It's quite soft. I like it. It's like more minced. Like a really nice soft mince. And you can really taste the meat and the pepper. Mmm. And the pastry is quite quite thick but also nice and flaky. Yeah, but this one, definitely much better than 7-Eleven for sure. What would you rank it out of, out of 10? It's elevated. I think this is the seven. You reckon it's a seven? This is the seven. I was gonna go six. Oh! It's still good, definitely good. Maybe seven, six and a half. I'll give you a six and a half. It's definitely good and it is definitely better than the 7-Eleven. All right, well, let's check out the next place and see if it can get any better than this. Like so far, this is actually very good. This is good, yeah. Very good, yeah. We're at Country Cobb Bakery, so apparently this one has gourmet sausage rolls. So they're a little bit more pricier, Chris. Well, let's see. Do you reckon they're gonna charge us for the sauce? 50 cents is my guess. I'm gonna say it's free. <laughs> because it's a bit more gourmet, I think they can give us some free sauce. Let's see, eh? Uh, let's go in. White people here, that's how you know it's good, because this is white people food. True, you're not wrong. It is. Yep. You know, the other places were good, like the Asian places are good, there's Asian people there, therefore it must be good. Here is full of white people, and this is white people food, so you know it must be good. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to doubt you. Oh, Australia is no champion of small business, not, not sausage roll. Look at that. Okay, they did this win some be awards. Best. This, this has the potential to be the best. Yeah. Yeah, this does have the potential to be the best. Look at that. Is that a shepherd's pie? Smells good too. Yeah, it smells great. Oh, they're real right about this place. Looks good. Sausage rolls. They've even got like um, half cut ones. And this one was my suggestion first. Yeah, that, this was your suggestion. <laughs> um, so they got a menu up there. Red curry crab, holy crap, lobster laksa pies. Shall we get a random pie as well? No, I'm going to be too full otherwise. 
So 30 cents for the sauce, so I was wrong. We are both wrong, actually. These were a bit pricier, but look at that. Look at the oil and grease coming out. So this is established 1993. That is vintage. Right, back in the hood. Back in the hood, so I'm gonna test this out first, and already it's quite soft in there. Ooh. It's the hottest out of all of them so far. Yep. Nice and hot. Mm. Look at that. And you can see uh, the ingredients, a bit of carrot in there already. All right, let's squirt all. Mmm. Oh. Is it worth five ninety? Mmm. That's very good. That's a nine. <laughs> Straight off the bat. You can taste the individual <coughs> ingredients. Like you can taste the carrot. You can taste the carrot. Yeah. You can taste, you can the, taste onion. the onion. You can taste the spices in there. Mm. The pastry's good. It's the hottest out of all the ones we've had so far. Mm. It's got almost like a curry tinge. Kinda, doesn't it? Mm. Actually, yeah, it does. And it's super soft. Mm. There is some kind of curry flavour in there. Mm. Definitely the best. This one put a smile <coughs> on my face. Yeah. This is the best one that I've had yet. We'll see how the next one is, the last one. But I reckon it's going to take a lot to top this. Um, this one, you don't need the sauce to be delicious. I don't reckon you do. Yeah, it's actually quite delicious without the sauce. But yeah, that colour, it's definitely got some sort of curry flavouring. Mmm. Okay. That's definitely a nine. Mm. That beats all the others. Yeah. So it's soft. And I like how the pastry is actually quite thin. But yeah, you're right. It doesn't actually need the sauce. It's juicy enough and it's got enough flavour. Mmm. Definitely unique. I don't think I've ever had a flavour in a sausage roll like this before. I would love to come back here and try the pies because they've got very unique flavor pies in there and they look amazing and all these awards, but definitely worth the money for a sausage roll. Mm. Yeah, very good. I'm gonna rate this nine as well. Yeah, yeah. thousand percent straight to yeah. a nine. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Anything over a seven I was going to be happy with today, but that's definitely a nine. Mm. I'm, I'm really happy with this one. Mm. And you can taste the fattiness of the meat as well. Yeah. Mm. This place was reckon to, recommended to me by some people at work. I drive past it all the time, but I've never actually stopped in before. So glad I got that recommendation because it's mm. really good. Yeah, heaps of people driving in here just to get a pastry. We did not go wrong with these. Oh. Best yet. Mm. Thousand percent. Oh, so good. Mm. <laughs> On to our last sausage roll destination and we're in Box Hill. Um, it's a nice little arcade here, I've never been here, but we're going to go to a place called Rolf's Pies. So they have obviously a lot of pies, but we're going for the sausage roll. So and the sauce? Oh, the sauce. The sauce I reckon 20 be, cents. I'm going to say 30, that's the standard. 30, yeah? Yeah, 30 cents. Yeah. And you reckon this is going to beat the, uh, the last one that we had? Because I'm looking forward to it, but I, I reckon the last one was the benchmark. I think that is numero uno. Yeah. What do you I, reckon? I gotta agree, that was life changing. Yeah. This one has to be a 10 if it's gonna be better. Yeah. All right, let's go. Party sausage rolls. Do you have any like, oh yeah, do it. Um, two sausage rolls. Oh, they're gone. Oh, yeah, five minutes is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, two, please. That's it. Um, can we have sauce as well? Just two? Is that extra? No. It's free. Okay. Alright, well, do you want to move those now? Yep, I'll pay for it now. No, all good, thank you. Okay, sure. Thank you, thank you. So the lady in there said we ran out of sausage rolls and I always had a heart attack, but it was just a five minute wait. 
and she wavered the uh, tomato sauce fee. So it's free this one. And these are cheap, three ninety. Yeah, really cheap. But let's see how Rolf does it. So we received the goods. Rolf actually gave us four sausage rolls. Look at that. Good on you, Rolf. So I can see the pastry is like golden. Yeah, nice and crispy it looking. It just come out of the oven though. They're not big sausage rolls, so that's a good thing. I'm uh, at the end of my sausage roll <laughs> storage tank. All right, first impressions. They're definitely fresh. Fresh. They've just come out of the oven. We had to wait five minutes for them after ordering them because they just had to come out of the oven. But uh, they definitely look good. Smaller than the other ones. Um, I suppose two of those together would make up the size of Did the... Did you pay for those sauces? No, no, we didn't pay for them. <laughs> no, that's why I took four. <laughs> All right, I'll let you do the honours. Does not, it... Not the best. But it is good. <laughs> Not as good as the last one is what I meant to say. Yeah. The last one was a nine, hundred percent. This one I put it about a seven, seven or an eight. It's definitely good, definitely good. But um, yeah, that last one was life changing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You, you give it a go. I do like the uh, the hardness of this. The the rest we had before was quite soft, so. I'm going to have to agree. Inside pastries, I mean, the meat inside is almost like a 7-Eleven yeah. meat. There's no separation. I can't taste any individual flavours. Yeah. It tastes a bit of pepperiness. Mm. It's definitely good. There's nothing at all wrong with it. Mm. It's just after having the last one that we had, I don't know. I think that is by far the best sausage roll I've had in Melbourne so far. Okay. These are good, definitely good, but um, not the best I've had today. Let's go by rating. So we went to 7 Eleven first, then Did we I went give it to. it a four? You gave that a four, I gave that a five. Then we went to uh, Mountain Gate uh, Hot Bakehouse. That was a seven for me. I gave it a seven. Mm. Then we went to Cobb's Bakery. Nine. That was a life-changing experience. The only thing that that could make it any better, for me anyway, personally, is if the um, pastry was a bit more crispy. Mm. Yeah, for that one. But everything else was spot on. This one, however, Rolf's. I like the kindness of the place over there. The service. Staff are really nice, really yep. friendly. Um, the free tomato sauce. But I'm gonna to have to give this one a six. It's just a bit better than the 7-Elevens. I was gonna say about seven, yeah, six yeah. and a half, seven. It's still good. It's definitely good. It's definitely good. There's nothing at all wrong no. with it. But uh, yeah, the, that last one. Once once I tasted that, that was it. I was done. Yeah. <laughs> I was done for the day. I'm ready I think, to go home. I think that place has ruined sausage rolls for us. Like if we don't go there again for a sausage roll, other sausage rolls won't be any good. This one I would have ranked higher if I didn't yeah. have the last one. Yeah, definitely. It's yeah, good. but it, it, it good, is good. But, but um, the price here is cheap, three ninety. But they are smaller. Smaller, yep. But yeah, it is cheap. So for a quick, easy bite, this is a good, good way to go. I'd rather this than the Seven Elevens. Oh yeah, anything's better. That's why you're gonna yeah. love bakery, bakeries. It's homemade, you know, you can taste the difference and they put effort into it as well. Mm. So, yeah, it's definitely a big difference than some mass produced, churned out crap. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode today. Like and subscribe to the channel for more food adventures and um, see you guys on the next episode. Mm.